Hey, Mike, remember that time when I went to the park to make a beat using Serato Studio? I'm gonna go ahead and add an 808 to this joint. I like that 808 right there. So I'm gonna just drag in and drop it right like that. And now I got control. Well now with that new update, you can even lay down some hot vocal tracks or instrument tracks or whatever else you wanna record too. <laughs> I guess Serato Studio is a real doll now, huh? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if you don't know yet, man, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So if you into all that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on your notifications because you know sometimes YouTube be tripping, letting you know when I'm dripping. <laughs> all right, man, that's enough with all the jokes. You know what I'm talking about? Um, we having some fun today in the studio. And the dope thing I love about this Serato studio is, again, it can be portable. Um, you can take it anywhere like I showed y'all in the last time I was using Serato studio in the last video. You can literally take it anywhere and create on the go. And nothing is different with the new additions that have been added with the latest software updates. The main thing here is that you can now record audio. That means you can record vocals in. You can actually record any audio from samples that you might be trying to get in. Maybe you got a, a, a record player. You connect it directly to your interface and start recording that in. Maybe you're tracking instruments directly into your Serato Studio. All of that is possible with this new Serato Studio update. And did I mention you can take it with you on the go? Yeah. So even if you aren't using a sound card, um, which I do recommend using a sound card, you can still use the built-in audio on your computer's device. So if you have a built-in microphone and output and speakers, all that right into your laptop or whatever it is that you're using, you can use that to do your recording um, with Serato Studio. It's actually pretty easy to record something. Let's go ahead, jump into the software and take a look for ourselves. I'm working in this session. It's the same beat that I started before because I'm like, dang, now that I got the opportunity to add some vocals, I might just give y'all some bars, man. And shout out to Prince, man. R.P. Prince. We got the Purple Rain vibe going on in the studio today. <laughs> All right. So one of the first things you want to do is actually choose your sound device, right? So I'm going to go up to the top right corner, click on the settings for Serato. And then my audio setup uh, panel here. I, can, I wanna choose my audio output, and more importantly, since I'm gonna be recording, I wanna make sure that I have the appropriate input selected. Again, you can actually use the built-in microphone on your uh, computer if you have that, or like I have right now, I actually have my Apollo Twin connected via the Universal Audio Thunderbolt, and I'm gonna be recording from my SM7B through the Apollo Twin right into Serato. So everything is already set up for me. Again, make sure you double check those settings after you've updated to the latest version of Serato Studio to get this new feature. And I'm just gonna pretty much go ahead and <laughs> close that out. And now I'm almost ready to record. You can see that I'm getting signal here. Every time I talk, we get this little uh, indicator. If I wanted to hear that, I just wanna select on the track and this little perp this little button with the speaker icon is the input monitoring. This, this is, is going to be great for me to actually be able to set my input level. So uh, before I start recording, I, I want to arm that section there. And I'm going to just mute this because I don't want to hear myself back um, as I'm talking to y'all, right? When I hit that input monitor button, I can then adjust the preamp level on my interface to make sure that I'm getting the appropriate input gain. We don't want to be too quiet. We definitely don't want to be too loud to uh, start clipping. So um, definitely input monitor there. And if you need to change your input, your input selection, you can do this here as long as you have the appropriate track selected. All right. All right, y'all. I think I'm ready to record. Let's go ahead and try something. Hit this record button here. Hit that count in. Yeah. You already know it's waving. You already know we going crazy. Can't stop me now. So I don't go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm about to spit some bars. I've been driving so far. Now I'm hopping out the car. <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah, 
y'all thought I was really about to rap? What y'all thought, man? If you really want to see me rap, y'all gonna have to get me more subscribers, man. I'm gonna need at least half a million subscribers before I actually start rapping on the channel, man. So y'all gotta chill with all that. I'm just here to show y'all the tools, all right? <laughs> all right, so uh, after you record, you can uh, stop the input monitoring, and then you can also add some effects. So if I wanted to add any effects like EQs, compression, or reverb, I could go right up to this track here. As long as I have my uh, track selected, I can go right up and choose any effects, go to the little drop down, and preferably, of course, you know, as I'm mixing, I like to start off with like a high pass filter and work that to get rid of the extreme lows. Let's hear that. You already know it's way more. You already know we going crazy. Can't stop me now. All right. And you can add up to one, two, three, four, five, six different effects on your track. And they are processed in series from left to right here. Um, just like in other dolls <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and now add a little compression and i'm using right now the stock serato studio uh plugins and processors but you can use any third-party plugins that you have as as well so i'm gonna use a soft pro you already know it's wavy you already know we going crazy can't stop me now cool and then on this next one let's just add a little reverb sauce man You already know it's wavy. You already know we going crazy. Can't stop me now. So I don't go in down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hey. I think I'm about to spit some bars. I've been driving so far. Now I'm hopping out the car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's fun. You even have some basic editing controls. I could come right here and clean up, just go right to the tops and tails of my clips to really trim anything that I need to. And you can cut, copy, plate, paste, and move clips as well. Uh, one thing I really like though, is this little pitch shift. If I have this clip selected, I can go right and uh, transpose it down very easily. And I also like the fact that the waveforms are displaying the different colors. And each one of these color spots um, represent the different frequency ranges that are present in that audio um, to where like the red are going to be low frequencies and the greens are going to be more of those high frequencies so um let's listen to this now <laughs> pitch down a little bit hey you think i'm about to spit some bars i've been driving so far <laughs> so maybe i don't want to exactly do that but i could maybe duplicate a track uh come here and let's say split into a new clip at that section right there Hold the option key, drag this key, drag that part of the clip down to my new track, and then maybe transpose this down by uh, eight semitones or whatever. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> and that gives us a nice little mix, all right? Serato Studio helps you to be creative quickly, no matter where you are. And with the addition of these new recording features, Man, I don't think you need too much more to start making some of the best music of your life. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Make sure you check out the website and check out the description to learn more about Serato Studio and what it can do for you. All right? <laughs> Y'all be dope.